it felt so good just to actually have a job where you can be yourself. Acting is great and it's beautiful, but oh, it's so nice to just be able to be you. My name is Monifa Days. I am originally from Detroit, Michigan. I'm always a Detroit girl at heart, but this is actually the third city that I've lived in. I've moved around quite a bit as an adult. I lived in Chicago for a little bit. Um, I went to school there and just lived there after I graduated. I lived in Los Angeles for about 15 years and now I'm here in the Westchester area. I have a wonderful husband. We just celebrated our 20th anniversary and I have the love of my life and my daughter, who is 19. She's a sophomore in college this year. Acting was my main focus uh, right out of high school. So I went to undergrad in Detroit, but when I went to college, it's like when I really fell in love with the arts and just the compassion it teaches you. You have to get to know everybody from all walks of life. The arts just kind of, it brings together truly a melting pot. After I graduated from grad school, which was a two hours outside of Chicago, I moved up to Chicago because I was engaged and our friends wanted to start this theater company that was based out of Chicago. And so moved to Chicago, I spent about, gosh, eight, nine years in the city. And it's just where some of the most beautiful memories I have. I got married there. I had our daughter there. We started this beautiful theater company that's still there. I have lifelong friendships that are still there. So I consider Chicago like my second home. How I got to LA is an interesting story. I won an acting competition and it was a nationwide contest. They had commercials on, looking for the next best dramatic actor is what they called it. They picked five people from Chicago, LA and New York and five people who had submitted their auditions via videotape. I got top three, I was shocked. And the top three, we got to fly to um, Los Angeles. And so we auditioned in person. And then I heard right before Christmas at the grocery store, get the call, because they were gonna call us regardless. And they told me that I got it. And I could not believe it. So I had to hold that news until I drove home <laughs> to tell my husband in person. And yeah, I won $100,000 and they relocated us to Los Angeles and I had to leave within three weeks. Once um, I opened myself up to saying, hey, you're here, this is your life, things started to open up for me. So I was acting a little bit still, I was still in commercials. I did stop acting for a while because I really wanted to focus on, on our daughter. That was my main thing. I said, you know what? I'm gonna focus on her and, and that's what I did. I just dove head first into just being a mom. So I was at all the PTA stuff, everything that she was a part of, I was there. And I'm so grateful that I was able to be there to experience that I would not have it any other, any other way. But in between, I was able to start acting and doing stuff um, in LA. I started to write. Um, I started to really, I think in LA is where I developed being more of an artist, myself as an artist and more than just an actor. And so I was directing. Um, uh, I'm a fitness instructor, I didn't even mention that. Had gotten uh, certified in Chicago and so I had been teaching classes, which was very fulfilling as well. So I was teaching classes, I was um, still acting. Now I'm starting to direct and I'm starting to write. So I was finding other artistic ways to fulfill that part of me, which was really, really great. And so when my daughter got in about like 10th or 11th grade, I was like, okay, Monifa, it's time to start back focusing on you. And so what does that look like? I think it's so important that when you have goals and dreams that you see them and that you're reminded of what they are. And so I said, I'm going big. I'm not gonna do a vision board because I've been doing vision boards. I said, nope, I'm doing a vision wall. So I turned my entire dining room wall, one of the walls, into a vision wall. And it was flanked by a map. And it was flanked by a map because I love to travel. So on the map, you know, it was surrounded by, you know, all these goals that I had. And it was so nice to even subconsciously look at that, to be reminded of things that I wanted to do. I just, I wasn't tied to being in LA and I put that on my vision wall. I am fine to see what this is going to look like. And so this is how it ended up looking like. I started auditioning um, for QVC, which actually my first audition was back in 2010. Welcome to Appliance Hour here at QVC. Today we are featuring one of my favorite items. It was sold out the last time and now you've asked for it and it's back. So when I auditioned in 2010, I remember, <laughs> I think I had, uh, 
my ice cream maker was the thing I presented at the time. You know, I just got rid of that ice cream maker, by the way, like literally just a few weeks ago. How funny was that? But yes, I had a Cuisinart ice cream maker that I presented and a sports bra, which is perfect because I was heavy, heavy into teaching at that time. And so it was really great. But the funny thing is when I look at that video, I go, yeah, that's still me for sure. It's still me. But I just think um, at the time, I, this is how I justify it. I say, oh, QVC, they weren't ready for me back then. So that's how I justify it. So I didn't audition again until 2018. But again, by then my daughter was getting older, right? And so I was like, all right, let's, let's do this again. Didn't hear a thing. And so finally 2019 came around and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. And uh, I was actually sick when I auditioned. I had the flu. I asked for an extension because I couldn't talk. Gave me an extension, I could talk. Still wasn't better, but well enough. So what I did was now I packed my purse. I really don't need it. I just throw it in my luggage and I put everything I need in this. My goal was to use stuff that I literally used all the time that I could just talk about easy peasy. I was cute. I had on this black sequins jumpsuit. Like who wears a black sequins jumpsuit? Me, I wore a black sequins jumpsuit to audition with on that self-tape. You know, when I auditioned this, this last time, when I did that self-tape, even though I wasn't feeling well, it just felt good. It felt like I was, even though I was authentic in those other auditions, I don't know, just this one just felt different, right? So when I got a call, I was really surprised. They asked me to audition in person, so I did that twice. I came out here, it, it was beautiful, cold, <laughs> it was cold. Um, but it was, a, it was a great, great experience. Like when I got to tour Studio Park and I got to meet everybody, everybody was so nice and it seemed so genuine. And it just felt natural and it felt like I could see myself here. And it felt so good just to actually have a job where you can be yourself. Acting is great and it's beautiful, but oh, it's so nice to just be able to be you. Now, I remember when I got that call. I was actually taking my daughter to school. I was driving her to school. And I got the call and I put it on my Bluetooth. And she was in the passenger seat and I was offered the job and I cried with her. And it was just this thing, she was so proud of me because she saw me set a goal and she saw me work toward that goal. And I think it's the greatest gift, one of the greatest gifts that you can give your children. They see you work hard and they see it pay off. March 15th, that was my day one. And uh, I walked in, I was so happy. I took my little ID and I went on a tour and uh, they showed me where my dressing room was gonna be and gave me the schedule and so many meetings, just people saying hi. And um, so I sat in an office by myself for that first week, pretty much on calls, on teams, uh, meeting everybody. The first week I did get to uh, watch Jane Brown. It was the first time I got to watch a host. And so I remember they gave me an IFB so I could hear and my heart started beating fast. And I was like, I'm not even on TV. What's happening? Why is my heart beating so quickly? I got nervous. <laughs> I got so nervous because of all the things that I was hearing in my ear from like three different people. I was like, what? How do you figure it? Like it just was so much. Not only was I getting all the things in my ear, but then all the things that's in front of you, the models, the mo it was, I was like, what is this job? And so it just was nothing like I thought. It was nothing like I thought. And then she was running from set to set and I had to follow her. And I was like, what's, like, it was so overwhelming. I got nervous and I wasn't even on the air. So that happened and uh, I thought it was really funny. I still, I mean, looking back on it, I'm like, that was really funny, but, it, it, it just made me go, there's a lot to this, but a lot of people there to support. So I never felt like I was not supported in the process. So Mary Beth introduced me for the first show, which was great. I didn't sell anything during that show. It was just an, a, a fun introduction. 
um, for the viewer just to get to know who I was. Special announcement to make, and that is that we've actually hired three brand new hosts, and you're going to meet one of them right now. Her name is Monifa Days. She is so wonderful, beautiful inside and out. And Monifa, welcome. Oh my goodness, thank you, Mary Beth. I am so, so beyond excited to be here. And I co-hosted uh, my first show the next day on QVC2. It was Denim and Company. And so that was really great. I co-hosted for about, I think about four or five weeks before I went solo. I was doing a home show and um, <laughs> it was a, it was a, a organization show. And I had a, a cart and the cart just, I couldn't get the cart to like collapse or something. It was terrible. It was terrible. And so literally you hear me, I think they finally decided to cut away when they really, you know, I couldn't get the cart to collapse. And so I just cracked up. But the beautiful part about it is that, um, one of the, the crew who was on set that day, I had him take pictures of me randomly. I was like, oh, I need some pictures for my social media. And so he got the best picture of me laughing at myself during that time. And so that's actually what's on my Facebook page as my cover picture was that picture because I was like, I can't get it. And so it just, it was so funny. I'm just excited to grow and learn and explore and discover and contribute on and off the air as much as I can. This was such a welcomed blessing for me and our family and I just, I couldn't be more proud and more happy to be here for sure. To me it's important that when you are put in these positions that you give back and that you serve and in whatever capacity that you can serve in, people have dreams and they have goals and if I'm able to help or give advice, I would love to be able to do that 